Yeah, gotta admit that little jester's good with that butter knife. Greetings, viewers, and welcome to part six of Joining the Dark Brotherhood. This is becoming kind of a weird experience in some ways. I remember it somewhat because whenever I played Skyrim, I sort of joined the Dark Brotherhood or didn't. It depended on how I wanted to do things. In this case, I joined. And I forgot how freaking long it really is. Now, in part five, you were assigned to find uh, what are, whatever her name's wife, husband is, and <laughs> kill Cicero. Well, now we're at the Dawnstar Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. And it's time to kill Cicero. Should have figured Astrid would send you. Ugh, what gave it away? <laughs> yeah, gotta admit that little jester's good with that butter knife. But don't worry, I gave as good as I got. In there, through the door. Some old sanctuary by the looks of it. I would have followed him, but I don't know the phrase. All right, you convinced me. Doubt I'd be much good to you anyway. The little fop cut me pretty deep. But I slashed him good. Pretty sure I severed an artery. Don't know what you're gonna find in there. But you can probably just follow the blood. Okay, another creepy door. Once you enter the sanctuary, Cicero starts taunting you, and you gotta fight sanctuary guardians. Oh, I knew you'd come! The best to defeat the best. As you knew the stupid wolf couldn't slay, slay Cicero. Slay. 
Your mother, too, isn't she? Listener. Walk away! Let poor Cicero live! Tell the pretender Astrid that you did the job. Stabbed, strangled, drowned poor Cicero. What a little itty bitty lie. Whether you kill Cicero or not, doesn't affect the ultimate ending. I'll tell you that from experience. The cool part is you have Cicero as a follower if you don't kill him. And he's actually a pretty good follower if you take him around on adventures. He knows how to stay out of the way and he knows how to be effective in, how shall I say, killing. But I digress. I want to get out of this sanctuary. And I want to report back to Estrid, I remembered her name, that Cicero is dead.
Arnbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Tell you what, why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? He's a fine steed, and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? Read his cookbook? It's become quite a phenomenon. The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the Gourmet. You should report to him. Watch yourself out there. Other stories. True. The rhetoric contract? Yes, you heard correctly. In and out of Varden fell in less than 48 hours. There you so are. Easy. Took your sweet like time too. dealing yeah, with Cicero, eh? Now let's get better. down to business. Astrid told you about the gourmet, I hope. Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. Don't be so petulant. In my, uh, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the Gourmet's cookbook. <laughs> but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep at Markarth. It would seem he's the cook. I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan, who the Gourmet really is, and where he can be found. Oh, and when you're done with Varan, kill him. Loose ends and all that. Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? As I was saying, you'll need to kill the Gourmet, of course. But what's more? need to get his writ of passage, so you could take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. Yes, now you gotta track down the gourmet question Anton Verine. And, well, that's for episode six. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up icon and feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, well, hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you'll be informed. I post four video game related videos a week and you don't want to miss out. And I also post a short on Wednesday. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.